When it comes to choosing a mortgage, you have to make some critical decisions. The first decision is this. Should you choose a mortgage with a fixed or a variable interest rate? Let's take a look at the benefits of each. With a fixed interest rate mortgage, you'll lock in a specific payment for the life of the loan. This makes it easy to plan your future finances. You know what the loan is going to cost. With a variable interest rate mortgage, the interest rate will fluctuate based on a financial index. The most common is LIBOR, or the London Interbank Offering Rates Index. As the index to which your interest rate is linked to fluctuates, your monthly payment will be adjusted periodically. This loan can enable you to take advantage of low interest rates to get started in a mortgage. Since interest rates fluctuate, fixed rate loans normally start out at a higher interest rate than adjustable. The bank charges more because if rates go higher, they'll lose out. So, how do you choose between a fixed and a variable interest rate loan? It helps to take a look at the current interest rate compared to historic averages. If interest rates are below historic averages, it may make sense to look at a fixed rate. That way, your interest rate will remain fixed even if interest rates rise. On the other hand, if interest rates are above historic averages, it may be better to choose a variable rate loan. Then, as interest rates fall, your interest rate will fall as well. Another fixed or variable consideration is how long you plan to be in the home. The shorter you plan on living in the home before selling it, the less time a variable interest rate loan will have to move up or down. The next critical decision is this. Should you choose a 15 or 30 year term? This decision isn't as simple as it might first appear. Since you'll be paying off the mortgage twice as fast, the monthly payments are somewhat higher on a 15 year mortgage than on a 30. But they aren't twice as high. The interest rate is typically a bit lower because there's less risk for the lender. In fact, over the term of the loan, you'll end up paying about half the interest on a 15-year mortgage than you would on a 30-year mortgage. That adds up to a lot of money. If you can afford the higher payments and want to build equity faster, a 15-year term may work for you. If you need to use more of your income for other obligations, a 30-year term may be the better choice. After you've made these decisions, there are a number of additional things you need to compare, such as the APR or annual percentage rate, which includes fees and discount points as a percentage of the loan amount. You'll want to compare upfront expenses, particularly down payments and closing costs, as well as the cost of mortgage insurance. When it comes to mortgages, there's a lot to know and a lot to research. Maybe it's time to speak with a professional.